Yo guys, so this weekend the new uh, upcoming rug pool that is right now ongoing it's called yogis all right so everybody talks about it because uh, because free mint you can mint for free however you mint for free if you invited five people to the discord and did a, a bunch of other things you know to create the hype and to bring more and more people for free for the scammers you uh, need to understand that the team behind this are scammers already known in the nft space and despite being a free mint nft it's a scam so very be careful and i will explain you in this video why it's a scam clearly and you will uh, you will get it hopefully also so you will learn some lessons on how to know if a project is a scam or not uh, because I'm going to uh, to go through the project uh, and uh, we're going to look at the roadmap and see and see what it's going on there so however first I want to show you something so yesterday Y3K Pirates posted a tweet with a document that was already released a while ago but then he got his account uh, suspended uh, because the scammers uh, attack uh, attack his account like they might do to my account someday so if I DAP uh, don't worry I will uh, still be around but that means someone goes after me because they're upset that we expose them we are uh, we are a team of people that are exposing uh, scammers I will show you uh, who uh, we are about 13 people anyway uh, he posted this document and this document uh, by explain everything about the team behind the rug pool and uh, I really recommend you guys to have a look at this document I will leave you the link in uh, the description of this video uh, normally it will be on the YouTube so if you watch this on TikTok or Instagram just go to my YouTube video uh, the link is in the bio uh, bio sorry sorry for my French accent but uh, yeah have a look very interesting those guys have been uh, have been behind a lot of uh, scams huh? let's have a look at the some of the names sinful souls uh, faceless for the most famous of them at least the one that i know about crypto cars uh, meta miners abandoned society indeed abandoned um pixel ducks etc etc so everything is here you will uh, see everyone that is connected into this those guys also have connection with the nelk boys uh and with uh, this guy like steve uh, steve will do it uh, with a non uh, scammer uh, coffeezilla already exposed him like so many times again and again but this guy is still here on the social media because uh, unfortunately uh, there is always some new people coming into the game thinking they're going to get rich and uh, following those kind of uh, fake uh, fake influencer no he's an influencer but those scammers huh? um yeah so this document is interesting you will see uh, names and uh, faces of the scammers and what's going on with them and why it might happen to them i can tell you as, as far as i know they uh, they are not yet arrested there is uh, some uh, investigation ongoing and also some uh, class action uh, the only way to stop scammers is to go with a class action so you need to be a lot of people to get in unfortunately people who get uh, scammed often feel ashamed uh, so they don't go further and they just stay quiet don't stay quiet huh? don't be a pussy just go for it open your mouth show your face if you need to but you don't even need i show my face but i don't care but if you don't want to show your face don't show your face but at least talk yeah you have social medias and everything there's many ways to talk many ways to do something even go complain to your local authorities even if they don't know shit about nft uh, most probably they will have no idea what is an nft but they will uh, keep record and that can be very useful at some point because those people anyway will go down at some point so keep pushing on them it's very important anyway we uh, we got a bunch of things about them and that's uh, that's why i'm going to talk right away about uh, about their new scam yogis so if we look at yogis uh, a nice looking website as usual they always make uh, nice things uh, they have a good designer behind this uh, web3 integrator for the mean button and all shit smart contract developer that knows what he's doing yeah, they could do things properly they could do a real business they could make really great things but instead of that they find it easier to scam people uh, millions of dollars has been scammed by them i think over uh, probably over 50 if not more 50 million i'm talking in million dollars guys so yeah and the last uh, the last discovery is this new project so they decided to go from uh, creating the hype and you mean for money no now it's creating the hype you mean just for uh, gas fees and uh, you get it for free but behind there is a wall stratagems huh? it's uh, it's going to make them money if we look through their, their website but they don't have a team first uh, totally undocked 
they will tell you why we should get on dogs guys because uh, we are giving free nft so we don't need to be dogs right and many people are not dogs you know they always use this same kind of bullshit or use a label saying that they are dogs through a company uh, that did a kyc on them and all shit all bullshit all fake the same companies are actually uh, made by scammers themselves who had trouble because they had people asking them to be dogs so they create a business around this and make a uh, dogs label and all shit so don't believe those things but anyway no team here Uh, if you go on their Discord, same things. If we go on their Discord, we don't have any uh, information about the roadmap. There is no roadmap, no roadmap channel. Uh, it's unfortunate because usually uh, we use the Discord with more content. You can put a lot of, lot of more content than on your website. So you go further into your roadmap and explain what the added value in the future, what you're going to do to generate money and etc. You need to look into a roadmap for what? But just to see first what they are going to deliver you uh, what they promise you and what's going to create added value in the future for the nft itself so if you don't see any roadmap mm, something's dodgy but here we do have it at least on the uh, website uh, they didn't bother to make a menu with a uh, roadmap team and stuff uh, now we don't bother with this anymore so it's ever getting lighter and lighter uh, at least they were putting some efforts into this before but now uh, pff, not even they don't care if we look at the roadmap it's a uh, user achievement Uh, stack your NFTs, uh, you will get some rewards and stuff. But the new things here, they are also adding a native token uh, for, from the project, the dollar gemis, this one, yeah. So uh, creating a token, it's uh, it's fairly easy, guys. It's even less costly than uh, an NFT because when you deploy your smart contract, uh, it will cost uh, way, it will be cheaper. The thing is, what you do with this uh, dollars gemis, if it's not usable in the real world or uh, in the in the NFT space for something. And the problem is they don't give you any details about this. Huh? They are telling you we are going to make a shop and you will be able to buy stuff uh, from the shop. But what shop? If it's a shop for merch, who gives a shit to have merch with Raiten, uh, Yogi's or uh, or one of the NFT, uh, something looking like that on, the, on your t-shirt or uh, underwear, I don't know, whatever, socks. Uh, nobody cares. Huh? The only people who cares are people that are crazy into the project and that's it. Other people don't care. So obviously it's not creating a brand. If it's not creating a brand, you don't have external people to come into the website and buy and buy and buy generating money. Those generating you any returns. And anyway, here they are not talking about any returns. Nothing like that. Sometimes they talk about royalties and stuff, but here uh, from the stuff that I read, nothing and i don't have much more details because no white paper so when you don't see a white paper you don't see a roadmap on the discord and stuff that's already quite you should be worried guys you should be worried there's something dodgy don't just believe into those uh, beautiful world uh, uh, steak uh, earn build you know in earn and build same bullshit they are exactly the same bullshit and that's all that's all we've got here so Pretty, pretty, pretty crap. But anyway, we uh, look into the open sea now and let me explain you why they are making money even if it's a free mint because that's uh, all things. Huh? People will tell you, no, feud, feud, uh, you're bullshitting. And if Watchdog is just a liar, he's bullshit or he's jealous, uh, he didn't get one for free. Remember, huh, to get one for free, you had to work your ass off, guys, as usual, huh, making you work to create the FOMO and to, to get uh, to create them some free uh, advertising also huh? so uh, invite five friends and stuff anyway we uh, we look at it here we have 3000 uh, nfts so far and uh, about about every owner has like about two nft huh? a bit a bit less floor price uh, but it's, it's pretty bad and anyway we had some volume going on which is which is where the money stand for them that's where they're making their money now they're not making it on the mint but they are making it on the secondary sales that's the old technique and if you don't really know about nfts you will think oh you won't you won't realize the money is here you will think oh it's people making money because they they they, they mint So I need to mint and I can resell and, and stuff. So if you're a penny flippers, even, uh, even you won't even understand shit of, of what I'm talking about because the penny flippers usually are just here for, uh, for a quick flip. Uh, I call them the quick flip boy. Just want to make couple bucks. Uh, they want like five or fifty, one hundred dollar, and that's it. They're happy. Totally useless. Uh, you guys should uh, trade uh, crypto. At least you have a chance to to make money by trading because you can see and analyze your chart. Hein? With NFTs, you cannot do that. So the the problem here is that that's I'm going to show you a document straight up here. 
Voilà. You see this address, the first one on top here, the 0x CDD, the one finishing by 442. This one is the owner wallet. What does it mean? It means this wallet controls the smart contract. They can pause it, they can uh, start it, they can change the price, they can airdrop NFTs like they did, and etc. This wallet has over 700 NFT in it. So let me show you here, 778, you can see. The next guy has 97, so part of their team, obviously. And uh, and then you got uh, people with about 10, uh, 7, 5 NFTs, whatever. So everyone who got more than one, either way, managed to uh, to use two different wallets for a free mint, huh? just paying the gas fees. And it was a war, gas fee war, so I'm not quite sure how much they spent into gas, but probably, uh, I don't know, 60, 100 dollars, maybe 200. Anyway, if they have more than one, they bought it from the secondary market. And that's where is the problem. 778 NFTs in the wallet of the owner. And yeah, the problem is over 25% of the total supply. So you can imagine how crazy is that. They could just sell a sell straight and everything goes down. But the technique here is not to sell straight away. It's to go slowly through the hype. So people are into it believe it's great, buy now from the secondary market because the mint, the free mint is over. Uh, maybe they will have another session, I don't know, but doesn't matter. Anyway, people are like, you know, they need now, they need now, they are in the rush. They feel like they are missing out. Yeah? It's it's what creates FOMO, the fear of missing out. So they buy straight away from the secondary market. And that's where the yogi scammers, the guys behind it, can actually make money because you're buying from them. You're buying from them. They have the whole supply, guys. You understand that? So slowly but surely, they can make money. So the 128 Ethereum, the volume traded, almost all of it went to their pocket already. So we can look at the owner wallet and see what's going on. Uh, so you guys get a better understanding of their uh, technique to uh, to kind of create volume, create activity, and uh, and just confuse people. I'm going to open one uh, randomly. So we can look at the activity of this one. And when we look down here on the item activity, you can see some stuff very quickly that's a bit uh, weird. Minted null address, okay, from smart contract to 7C1. 7C1 then transfer it to CDD. And CDD then transfer it back to 7C1. And it's always going on like this, always and always. So you can have a look. I will leave you the address in the description. And that shows how uh, things are going on. So uh, clearly I've been uh, showing you that the contract owner got 778 NFTs. Now the goal is to keep the hype and to sell slowly and surely on the secondary market. Aspire the roadmap, uh, which is almost inexistent and doesn't exist at least on the Discord. But you can understand now if you are a bit smart not even smart you just use your logic guys and you will understand that there is no added value for the future with this nft there is nothing that will come back to you doesn't matter if they make a, a native token uh, it's not going to create any added value so very be careful with that i recommend you to go read all the documents in the description that i will leave for you guys and lastly i recommend you to go follow all these people here in the list i will leave you the list on my uh, description of this uh, video also so uh, they are all on the Twitter and these people can really help you understand what is good or not as a, as an NFT project. It's very important because they're all preventing scams to happen. So they are helping you guys, the community, to don't get scammed. So very, very yeah, look at it. It doesn't take you long. Just follow them and at least you will see this in your feed coming and you can ask them questions when you need. I'm part of it. It's important. We were about, uh, I don't know, seven, five, uh, five months ago. Now we are uh, 15, probably uh, more uh, by the end of this month. So Hopefully. So if you guys also feel like you can contribute and help the community, just come in, uh, go on Twitter and uh, and start uh, working on uh, on those scammers. Ass. It's very important. Um, yeah, so be careful out there. If you are a first time uh, investor in NFT and you want to make a quick flip, I really recommend you to learn very much about it, about the space and realize by yourself that it's not what's going to make you rich. Uh, it's not going to make you rich. It happens only for 1% of the people. So uh, go, go more into trading. At least you have told there and you have uh, you can learn technical analysis and stuff that will really help you and if you want to invest in the long term with nft i recommend you to go into artist nfts because an artist that gets into nft maybe even the first
first, first, first time he gets in, it's going to create added value in the future because himself is the value. Uh, he's going to become more famous. He will go into exhibition, into museums, into galleries. He will be in the news. So more and more the guys get famous, more and more the value of the NFT will increase. But don't wait for the NFT to become uh, suddenly in two days, uh, 60,000 more uh, dollars, all right? If you're looking just to make $100, 50 bucks, then yes, keep keep going for those uh, NFT projects shit uh, without looking at anything, the roadmap, the, the team behind it. But if you really want to make money, guys, go for the long term. I think it's it's way better or at least look into project where you know who is behind and what's the added value in the, what's the future for it and what's going to create value for you and, the, and your NFT. All right, guys, you take care. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.